Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining in for another video. Uh, today we got a real exciting one for you guys. It's a long time coming. We're finally getting this thing tuned right here. Um, for you guys that have been following me for some time, you guys know I've been through a ton of up and ups and downs with this car. Uh, I ran an 11.7 at the drag strip. Uh, blew, my motor, <laughs> blew my motor shortly after that. And, um, and about a year later, here I am now. Finally, with a built engine, upgraded turbo, full fuel in the works. So, guys, I'm really excited about this today. Uh, it's been a long time coming, like I said. Uh, we're gonna be tuning uh, the car with Eurodyne by Sam. So, guys, uh, I'm gonna be showing you the steps from beginning to end on what you guys need to do so you guys can familiarize yourself with the process before you decide to hop into this. So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right now, all right. If you guys are now watching this video, I'm almost certain you guys already probably already have your dyne. And um, first thing you should do is obviously um, open up the software. We're going into the your uh, dyne flasher. Guys, make sure that your um, your application is updated. Obviously, it if if it is not, then make sure you update first. I find that sometimes the um, Sometimes the auto update uh, stalls from time to time. If that's a problem, guys, just make sure you go directly to their website, yourdyne.ca, and just go to support login, downloads, sign in, and download the appropriate files. All right, next up, you're going to want to connect your Yourdyne power tap. And uh, connect by USB. And then we can uh, start the software up. So guys, before you flash or anything like that, make sure that you turn off your sleep mode on your laptop and your screensaver mode as well. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, guys, is basically we need to send our base map file uh, to your tuner. So the, what you're going to do is check available Maestro files. Click that. Uh, make sure your ACC power is on. And when that boots up guys, you want to go to show Maestro base files. Okay, just click yes here. And it, it should load up all the base map files here. So uh, I have a hybrid turbo, so I have to go with the Boss 500 uh, map. Um, if you are unsure which base map to go with, um, contact your tuner. He'll point you in the right direction. So you're going to select the file needed. In this case, this one here. And you're going to go to Download Maestro File. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. But you're going to go take this file, email it off to your tuner, and he's going to send you a revised base map for your setup. All right, in my case here, guys, Sam has already sent me a new base map file revised for my setup. So I'm just going to go and click start, and we're going to flash the new file on. And then we can start doing some logging. So once we go in here, you go, want to go to um, flash my ECU with a maestro file. Sorry, maestro. I keep pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> Sam's already sent it to me via email and I've already downloaded it. Okay, so just find the file you're looking for. All right, so I got my base file right here. Guys, one thing I want to recommend, uh, if you're concerned about the car running out of battery while you are flashing, what I would recommend is using some jumper cables on another car you have, turn the other car on, connect it to your battery on your S3, your, your car right now, 
that's being tuned if you're really you know nervous about the battery dying while it's flashing if you have obviously a, a trickle charger battery charger uh, i would attach that to instead of the previous method i mentioned anyway so we're going to select the base map file making sure ignition is on and engine is off click ok and it's going to begin the flash right now my screen keeps popping up and down Alright, so it's going to start flashing at the moment. It's going to go through all these error codes and whatnot, don't be alarmed. Alright, at this point it tells us to turn off the ignition, which we're going to go ahead and do right now. Okay, now that's done, we can confirm ignition is off. And then turn ignition on again. Confirm ignition is on. And that's it, we're done. All right, now the base map is installed on the car, guys. Next, we are going to go out and do some logs. So I'll show you guys how to do just now. Before you guys go out and tune, make sure you follow the instructions from your tuner. So. In my case here, he suggested that I adjust the boost and um, the octane type. Obviously, they got a tune for the fuel you're using. Um, so you click on MQB adjustable features from the flasher. I was told to set mine at 29. First, let's hit up. Let's hit to read settings first. Okay, I was told to move mine to 29 and put... Um, 94 octane on there okay after that just click right settings and uh, you should be good to start logging under the settings provided by your tuner all right before you go out there on the road and you know get logging i think it's best obviously to set up beforehand so you're going to open up the uridine flasher again and start it up so click start Make sure your ignition ACC power is on. Click yes. And what you're gonna to go to guys is right here on the top right, diagnostics, diagnostics and data logging. So what you're gonna do after that, get controller info. And once it gets all that good to go, you're going to go to um, measuring blocks. And what you want to do here, guys, you want to select all and then log selected values. So your tuner will give you the instructions on um, what kind of log to grab. But in my case, I got to do um, with my base map, I got to do a pull from, uh, what is it, from third gear all the way up to red line. So uh, when you're ready to start the log right before you floor it, obviously, uh, you want to click on start log. And then when you start uh, shutting down, then click stop logging to file. Um, this may be a little bit tricky if you're logging on your own. I'd highly suggest if you if you do have the option, get a friend or get your significant other or whatnot to be in the car with you to help you out with this. All right, so we are ready to start logging. So guys, let's hit up the highway and let's get a few logs in. Alright guys, it's going to get our first log, manual mode, dynamic, traction off, third gear.
guys so I got about like four or five logs in so I'm gonna send that over to Sam and I will just wait and see for him to I'll just wait for him to send me a revision and then the process will repeat itself um, actually before I do that let me show you where you get those logs so if you go to Windows Explorer it's gonna be under your C drive and under the file Eurodyne so open that up and then the files that you logged uh, when you started them and you stop them will be automatically saved here So copy this send them in an email to your tuner and uh, he should be able to Send you some adjustments on the new maps. Well, like I said guys. I hope that was helpful and um, If you got any questions, let me know hit me up in the comments or on Instagram and um, Yeah, that's it for now the car felt really strong pulled really nicely and the pops were insane I actually missed that a lot when I had the Unitronic stage 2 tune um, I love the pops and I know it's a little bit childish, but hey, you get enjoyment of it. Um, you know, the sound really brings a lot of like character to the car too. So um, glad to have pops back and I guess that's it guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I did run into fellow S3 here when I parked. Love this color. But anyways guys, until next video and uh, hopefully when it's all tuned, the next one shall be the dyno. So see you guys then. Take care.